Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar and this is Hot La Mode. Today on Hot La Mode, we're going to be discussing Chanel and Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2018 shows. So let's start with Louis Vuitton. Nicola Gasquet is back, bitches, and hopefully this isn't a one collection wonder. For me, Nicola always delivers in the accessories department and his shoes and bags are the most underrated in the game. Louis Vuitton has the most amazing accessories and I don't think anyone appreciates it at all. His petite mallet, pochette, and twist bags made appearances alongside his new sneakers, which were very modern and techy, which is on par for the brand. Nicola looked to the Louvre, which has almost become a home for the brand, for inspiration by mixing French aristocracy with the worldly tourists who come to visit the famed Parisian Museum every day. The first few looks were awe inspiring. Rich in colors and embroideries, Nicola has single handedly made 18th century tailcoats chic and modern as fuck. And even better, mixed with silk shorts and sneakers, Louis Vuitton has my attention. I also saw quite a few references to his Balenciaga days, and lord knows that fashion people are obsessed with Nicola Gasquier at Balenciaga. Nicola also decided to keep with his Pirates of the Caribbean of the digital age look. I can imagine the quintessential Louis Vuitton girl saying, I am the captain now robbing you and your yacht, then going to her own Instamodel fashion pirate party later on. Some of the floaty gowns were exquisite. When kept simple, they shined. But when he plays the I'm gonna mix 400 different patterns together game, he loses me. And the way he layered billowing blouses under dresses and Stranger Things tees, I lost my mind. His short sequin dresses were also lovely, albeit no one would actually wear them with the tourist sneakers that he presented. One dress did look like it had a glitter noose stick around the model's neck, but I'll let it slide because of how strong the rest of the collection really was. Nicola's leather work for his clothes really shone through this season, and this was his strongest outing since his first few collections. Nicola, Shantae, you say, but good luck, and don't fuck it up. Now let's talk about Chanel. Uncle Carl treated us all to a delightful show. Maybe it was the clothes or the beautiful man-made waterfall inside the Grand Palais that drew me in. Probably the water part because I did dive into my local mall's fountain when I was four because it looked like fun. So, I mean, take as you will. Kaya Gerber opened the show, and I will say her walk is fantastic and I'm living for it. I retract all prior statements, let her open all of the shows. Now that I've composed myself, let's talk clothes. There was tweed galore, something we all love to see at a Chanel show. Whether it be the shorts, the culottes, or cute fitted beach dresses, I'm here for it. The tailoring and silhouettes of the tweed suitlets, which is a word I made up and it means just cute little jackets that look like dresses, are transformative and have brought this stray lamb back into the Chanel collab fold. There is some interesting rain gear from the thigh high transparent boots, a new and smart take on the Chanel heel, and the cute little transparent veils and hats as well. I don't love how he cut some of the tweed to look like cascading waterfalls. The idea is A+, but the execution just wasn't there. The sweaters with little strings like water droplets were sweet, wearable, and directly hit the waterfall theme as well. Even the way he layered tops and skirts brought me back to the theme, which is amazing. It's been one of my favorite shows so far for Paris. The collection was wearable and could be worn by so many different age groups, and it didn't just feel like an old lady parade, which sometimes it does, and it didn't feel like it was just trying to get little girls to be slutty and tweed either. The bags did leave me looking for a little bit more. They were gorgeous, yes, but would Ana Della Russo beat the shit out of a blogger for them? Probably not. And let's be real, that's the deciding factor on whether or not a Chanel bag is actually any good. The bathing suit caftan mixes were lovely, and every MILF you know is gonna be wearing them come this summer. The 1930s style dresses are always a miss for me. The shoulders look off, and they always hit above the hip line, which throws me. It just looks like a weird, bunchy, Mormon, graphic, shoulder mess. I just can't. But Carl reined those in with some magnificent black and white looks. Coco Chanel would have been death dropping in her grave for them. And the final few white dresses will make brides everywhere disappointed in their husbands' or wives' salaries. The refreshing waterfalls of Chanel's Spring Summer 18 show have washed away the pain and suffering the last few shows brought us. Coco Chanel, may your memory be blessed. These were both held on the last day of Paris Fashion Week. Chanel in the morning and Louis Vuitton closed out Paris Fashion Week. 
They are both brands that I have lambasted in the past. Both Nicola Gasquet and Karl Lagerfeld have not been my favorite people in the industry just because of the collections that they put out. But both of these shows really kind of gave me hope for the brands and for fashion in general. I know that these might be one hit wonders, but overall both of the shows are beautiful. And it's funny because I feel that a lot of the collections that I thought were going to be really bad, like Saint Laurent, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, all of these shows in Paris that I just knew I was going to hate and that I kind of had already decided in my mind that I was going to hate, I loved them. I thought they were beautiful. I thought they were well done. I thought that they really found something in the brand and in themselves and pulled it out. And all of the brands that I usually love, like Balenciaga and stuff like that, I really was disappointed by. So it's very interesting to kind of have this 180 and I hope that it continues with these brands. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you guys think of these two shows in the comments below. You can like this video if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Also, I post all different fashion content. Now that fashion month is over, I will be posting histories, different fashion-y things, my favorite YouTubers, my favorite looks from different celebrities or Instagrammers. So there's a lot coming for Hot La Mode. Thank you guys again for watching. I really have been so blessed by you guys this fashion month. I really enjoy doing these videos. Don't worry, there will be so much more coming out. So if you guys want to check out any of my social media, the links will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys later. So TTYL.